Dancer Arden England says taking up boxing has been a life-changing experience. Home recently for Pride Week, England brought his Pride box brand back to its roots, holding his popular Auckland classes at Iron Alley in Whanganui. England says the classes are about much more than boxing. I just found out the other day I'm the first openly gay corporate boxer in New Zealand. That just seems crazy to me that it's taken that long, but obviously there's still certain spaces like gyms, the fact that women have to have their own gym, the fact that gay people tell me they haven't stepped inside a gym for 10 years, you know, that there highlights the problem right there. After targeted attacks on gay people in Auckland's K Road following last year's Pride celebrations, England decided to start self-defence classes for anyone interested. So I started Googling and I found that there was only self-defence classes for women. Ah. There's a space here. There's, what about us? What about our community? There's nothing out there that's teaching our community how to protect themselves. But it was while emceeing for a corporate boxing fight, he got the call to take part in Boxing For Real. On his very first fight, he was the main card. And I just thought, you know what, I need to do this not only for myself, but for the rest of the gay community to prove that just because I wear heels and stuff sometimes doesn't mean that I'm not a man. So I just threw myself right into it really and um, came out to a Beyonce track and 8 inch heels and just really went the whole way, you know, there was no kind of pussy footing around. It was really interesting because when I came out, half the crowd booed me and half the crowd cheered me on and that kind of just gave me more of the motivation and just kind of like solidified why I was doing what I was doing, even though it was so frightening, it's one of the most scariest mentally and physically challenging things I've ever done in my life. Arden lost that bout, but it was close. Two judges scored it a draw and one judge scored it to him. And they were really trying to push for it to be a draw, but they reckon that the guy that was going against the draw was an old school boxing guy from the 80s and they reckon some of his comments came across a bit homophobe. As a dancer, boxing was something England was able to pick up quickly. The skill and fitness, perfect for dance. It's rhythm, it's timing, there's all of those things, footwork. So naturally there was like this hand in hand kind of dance boxing thing. And unfortunately, safety has also been an important reason to take up boxing. If someone attacks me in the street without even punching, I can protect myself from here. I can protect my body, my head, my arms. You know, and that's the first thing you learn if you go into a fight, is how to trust that defence. And I've got the fitness skills to get, the, you know, get out if I have to. England is walking the walk too, outside the ring working to further educate people in communities around New Zealand and support those struggling physically or mentally. I did my mental health training and it's um, called Tall Trees or Rākau Rarua, which is a mental health based programme that um, offers people with lived experience to come and do mental health training to be able to give back. Pride Box is open to anyone wanting to learn and will restart once the country gets back to its new normal. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.